Welcome to Friday, February 10th, 2023. Your Day Weather Podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily. Check them out at CowboyStateDaily.com. Also being brought to you by YDOT. Finally, a little break in the weather. There is a nice little gap between storm systems we're going to find ourselves in today and I think probably lasting through the weekend. And this is going to be really good news for a lot of folks who've just kind of had it (laughs) with improving conditions through Sunday. First of all, it's not going to be as windy. There's not going to be as much blowing snow around and it's also going to be warmer. These last two fast moving Pacific cold fronts, while on the whole really hadn't produced a lot of snow. They produced enough snow and a lot of blowing snow to cause whiteouts, lots of travel problems, especially across the higher elevation roads and highways across the region, and just to continue to make it a very long winter. But with the gap in the weather, we can all maybe catch our breath a little bit and maybe enjoy the weather not being nearly as bad with those warmer temperatures and less wind. Now we do have a splitting trough coming through the western United States Sunday night into Monday, but since it's splitting, it's really gonna not do much other than maybe make Sunday into Monday a little cooler. There will be a low swinging through the desert southwest in Southern California, bringing a little bit of weather there. The bigger weather system as we've been advertising, that's gonna arrive late Tuesday through late Wednesday, bringing better chances for snow and cold. We don't quite have the track of the low locked in yet, but there does appear to be a fairly good amount of agreement that this low is going to bring snow, especially to Colorado, parts of Kansas, Nebraska, and the southern parts of Wyoming as it moves through the region then across Nebraska. So it's going to be an impactful system as we get to the middle of next week. Long term, it still looks cold. We have a large area of cold air building up over the higher latitudes again that looks to be wanting to come in later this month into early March. Today's satellite photo really tells a nice story because you don't see much here, do you? The whole western United States is under this building high pressure. This is the cold front that roared through the area yesterday. It's already moving into the southern plains in southeastern United States, where it's going to be a newsmaker here over the next couple of days. We'll show you that here in a minute. But you can see over the west, a break in the weather finally. And you can see that right here. We've got the low off the northern California coast. We got the trough that came through yesterday, then this nice little wedge of high pressure that's going to come on through. So enjoy it. Take advantage of the next three days. For the next three days, that low does bring some rain into California, some mountain snow into the Pacific Northwest coast, but there's a lot of white here. So there's not a lot going on through the next 72 hours. This is that splitting low. The low stays off the Southern California coast. We have a weak frontal system right here that's headed to the Southeast, but it's gonna just come through stretched apart. Notice this guy right here over the Southeastern United States kind of sneaking into the southeastern United States. Looks what happens with this system. So we are going to see potentially, and I think there's a really good chance that places that normally get a lot of snow or get snow, going to get it this weekend. Northern areas of Georgia, northern areas of Alabama, through the high Appalachians, the Smoky Mountains, into the Carolinas, even in the mountains of Virginia, West Virginia, the mountains, the hill country of eastern areas of Tennessee and southeast Kentucky. Hey, winter wonderland for you with this system going on through. So uh, could it snow in places like Atlanta? Certainly could. Now by Tuesday, that low that this weekend is sitting here gets kicked out and heads up into the upper Midwest here. While we have this dive bombing area of very cold air come out of the Gulf of Alaska and British Columbia towards the Rockies. So The nice break in the weather is over by Tuesday morning for the Pacific Northwest, for Montana, Western Wyoming, into Utah and Idaho. That front comes barreling in by Monday night into Tuesday morning. Then by Wednesday morning, we've got that low near the Four Corners area. Now there's a lot here going on that will affect the track of the low. This little feature right here could end up drawing the low a little more north, or this feature here could become more detached and this low could swing a little bit further south. So while we're pretty confident the low is generally gonna take a track like this eastward, 
any deviation north or south is going to pull the snow with the low a little more north or a little more south. And since we're still pretty far out, getting that axis of where the best chance of snow is going to be, you're going to see it maybe fluctuate north or south a little bit. But the overall general trend, certainly with this system, is for a lot of cold air to pour in behind it. This is by Wednesday afternoon. Very cold air coming in with that low all throughout western Canada, all throughout the western United States. Look at temperatures down here into Arizona, New Mexico, down into Mexico. It's just cold. Then this is the general trend of where the snow is going to fall with this low. Again, do expect, I'm going to show you the area that I think that is going to be the most variable, which is going to be right here. This area of snow could end up being a little more north, or it could be a little bit more south. It could be more south, more focused along I-70, or more north focused on I-80. Right now, this model is showing kind of an in-between pattern cutting across Colorado into Nebraska, central and southern Wyoming, and western areas of Kansas. So pretty confident that this general area is going to see the accumulating snow and the cold. But the axis of who gets the heaviest snow, well, we're too far out for that because there's going to be some variations depending on how this low tracks. Then going out long term, this is by next Monday the 20th. A big high building in the Eastern Pacific, a big high in the North Atlantic. That sound familiar? <laughs> we've, we've seen this movie before because when you bookend these big ridges in the Pacific and the Atlantic, you force the cold air south out of Canada into the lower 48 states. So this is why we continue to see the focus of the coldest weather for the rest of February into early March on this side of the nation. Have yourself a great weekend. Enjoy this break of the weather. We'll see you on Monday.